Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Hey, man. That, that my boy, man. Like I said, I used to love listening to him. I was hurt when he was locked up. Yeah. You know, uh, let's you. talk about that a little bit because that had to take you by storm. When he got locked up. You want that story? Yeah, I got to have that. Like, that's a core thing, a core moment for me. Yeah. Because I was with him. You know what I'm saying? Kind of closed me off to the music because I cut for him so much. Just yeah. to, I listened to to UGK. That was my mm-hmm. that was my thing. Uh, I met Bun a couple of times, like I always say, but I never had to, got to meet him. We went. I don't know if he was with me at the car show. I I seen him perform at the car show, but yeah. I never got to talk with him. Right here in Dallas. Yeah. Oh, I was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I remember there. that we had the dicky suit on and yeah. coming through walking, just walking that stage. You man. mean right after he got out? Yeah. Yes. That's it. Yes. Yeah. I was happy about that. Yeah, I remember. I yeah, that yeah. So how did you, how did that end up happening? What was going on? You can talk about it now. Pimp's no longer with us. As far as how he ended up getting jammed up and all that good stuff. How he ended up getting jammed up? Yeah, oh, when he went to jail. Yeah, when, oh, and, and what happened and then, that, that made him? Yeah, and then I'm gonna tell you what he told me. Of course, that's okay. where I wanted from from your standpoint. Okay, this is what he told me. Initially, the, you mean the what, what put him on probation? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. this is what he told me. He said, "I'm in the mall. I'm in a certain store." Okay. He said, I'm talking to the store associate, okay? And the store shows, you know, he's you know, he's being friendly. He knows who I am. Yeah. You know, everything's cool. So he finishes helping me, and he goes and starts helping two girls. And in his excitement, he says, hey, y'all know who that is over there? That's PMC. And the girls. Of course. Oh, fuck that motherfucker. Wow. I'm not mm. fucked by no PMC. And if you, the Chad I know. Let me tell you something. That high-pitched voice. You ain't gonna talk him. No. And those and, the, and with it being high pitch, he cutting you with every word. Yeah, yeah. And so he rip him up with the, with his words. He leave out the store. And so he said, I go into a different store. And I'm, as I'm in this different store, it's like 15, 20 minutes later. He said, those so same young ladies walk in with three or four guys. So in his mind, they go get some guys to come after him. Mm-hmm. So he's like, I'm strapped in the mall, Bobo. You know me. You know, so he pull up, show that he's strapped. And as he does it, he says, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done it. Put it down. He said, I start head toward the door. They go tell him all security. He says, by the time, as soon as I hit the door, Bobo, bam, they grab him, hit his head all on the door. You know, they grab him. It's two, like, like two of them grab him. Hit his head all on the door. They say, hit his head on the cop car, everything. Yeah, because he's you know, it. Yeah, so he go to jail. And this is what I learned. A lot of things I, I learned from that situation. Uh, fast forward, Christmas, Christmas time. So this is, uh, has to be t- Christmas 2000, 2000, 2001. I'm at my mom's house. I get a phone call. Well, excuse me. No, nah, yeah, I get a phone call because I got a cell phone. Now. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. It's pimp. It's, he's like, bro, you know, my album is already out, right? With the bitch get up off me. He's like, say, man. I won't talk about that too, but. We got a show tonight. Chocolate City, first show UGK has done in four years, first show in Houston in, since I was there. You know, mm-hmm. I said, he said, we need you to open. Wow. I said, when? Right now. <laughs> so I got to go tell my family that I got to go. So I call up all my people. Pop, 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 pop. We hit the road. We go down to Houston. It's, it's a beautiful situation. Come back. Okay, let me tell you, this show is Bobo Luciano opening and the Middle Fingers. And then it's UGK. Mm-hmm. So then we come back, you know, the next week, mama called me. Yeah. I'm she with. said, baby, um, talk to Chad. We just got this 30 city tour booked. Okay. I said, okay, wow. Well, you know, we're going to pay. We're going to pay you. I, can, I ain't going to tell you how much you said yeah, we're going to pay you. Good. But it's, it's, it's lucrative. one thing about one, one it's thing. lucrative. Of, oh, my God. One thing about Chad and that whole family, UGK family. They were not stingy with the money. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know when when I was the hype man, they paid me like a, like I was out there, like an and, yeah, yeah, like an artist. You know, I had my own room. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't have to uh, sleep with the DJ, sleep with the dancers, none of that. None of that. Oh boy, you got your own room, and this is your money. I'm like, oh shit! After the show, go in mama room, get the money. So yeah, we, so so we do this show. She tell us, you know, we're gonna do this. 50, so we're gonna do fifteen shows. Get the bread. Come back to Houston, and we're going to shoot Look At Me video. I said, oh, wow, that's going to be dope, mama. I said, uh, who's going to shoot it? Boontown. Yeah. Oh, so Boontown living up here. I said, that's going to be wild. I said, well, mama, since the uh, 
camera's going to be there and everybody going to be in present. It's going to shoot bitch get a poppy video hey. at the same time. <laughs> she said, let me call Chad and ask him. She called Chad. She called me right back. He said, that's a pff, genius. So next week, he went to uh, for his court apartment and never came out. Wow. And never came back out. Well, that was a long word. Four years. Yeah, four years later. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and, and I know it did hurt you. Uh, did you uh, you you did take trips down there? Where to? to no, I never. He told me. Never, no, he told me don't come. Okay. He told mm. me I wrote him almost. I know I wrote him once a month at least. And mm-hmm. he wrote back. Oh, every yeah yeah I got to, come on now yeah so I, and every time I said boy let me put some money on your books he wouldn't take it he wouldn't take it from me at all because wow. I got people putting money on my books but boy I know you're trying to make it. I said, okay, if you need it, let me know. I got it. And that's how it was. So. Wow. That's that, that's dope, man, uh, that, that he understood because I, I can relate. Chad, but, you know, I, I hear a lot of people on, you know, because I, I watch you. Yeah, I follow yeah. you. And, and, and people say this, and you've heard this from everybody, and it's true. There was a difference between Chad and there was a difference between, between PMC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm one of the only people that I that's know. That's what of. runs. Run, uh, run, run Spencer, Spencer said yeah. that. I know Pimp. As Chad Butler. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the thing that Pimp did that he didn't do around a lot of people. When we when I was on a tour with him, we would you know do our music and get off the stage and do. He would always call me and say, and and I was marking. He would always. She said that. Mm -hmm. She would always. He would always come in. Hey, Ronnie, what you doing? I said, man, I'm just telling you, man, come on down here, let's go to the Waffle House. (laughs) I need to eat some steak and eggs. <laughs> I said, okay, all right. steak and eggs? He said, yeah, we're going to get steak and eggs. I don't want nobody else with us. It's just going to be me and you. <laughs> so he still got his pimp feel yeah. talking to me. And I would laugh. And I'm like, this, he's a character, but he's a really good So that dude. was him all the time. He no. never turned on and off? He turned on and off. Oh, so okay. it's like when he get ready to go to the show, well, I'll put it this way. When we together, he's like real calm and just say, hey, man, come on, man, let's go. Go chill, okay. go to the mall or something, buy some stuff, and you know, for the next show. So be cool. The character ain't out yet, but as soon as we get off the car, the character kick in. <laughs> so we getting ready to go to the mall. We don't realize how early it is. It ain't open. So the security come to the door, and this is the first time he's, he talked. So he say, I wonder why, why y'all don't open the door for me. I'm Pimp C. Y'all don't open this damn door. I'm trying to spend some money. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so I'm looking at him and I'm saying, he didn't change. You know what I'm saying? He didn't change his character. He say, you know who I am? I'm Pimp C. Open the door. I got money. You know what I'm saying? So, so dude said, man, we ain't open. He said, man, I don't give a damn about you. Open, open the door. Open it. So I'm like, man. So I'm just sitting back. He said, what you waiting on? Come on in. So I said, all right, see, come on in. I come on in. And he kind of, he said, we just going to win the shop. And so... He got his hands and he do his mouth like that. We just gonna win the shot. I'm looking for I'm looking for some shit tonight. Cause I'm performing. I'm like, man. So he say, Ronnie, what you want? I say, man, whatever we I mean, whatever you need of me to be in. He said, get what you want, cause I'm paying for it. I got money. So I'm like, man, so the security, go, okay, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. We're gonna, I'm gonna go get my manager so we open the door. Go get him. So I say, man. <laughs> I'm looking at this cat. I'm like, man. What city really, were y'all in? He really, we was in Chicago. <laughs> so I'm, I'm chilling. I'm like, man, he really in myself. I'm saying to myself, he really is then turning to the character again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So after we got all our stuff and then we get back in the car, he said, all right, man, we can go <laughs> eat. It was different. I'm one of the only people that I, I don't think Chad ever went out for. Really? Yeah. Everybody you ain't me. probably running because running said the same he's, thing because you all yeah yeah, yeah he, that, and that, I was older. I that's was like what the, it is. I was like that. No, don't do that. Don't do that, bro. Bro, you tripping? Yeah, I was that on his shoulder, you know, and that's why he always liked me around because when he got to tripping, I, and you tripping, pimp. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you tripping. And he'll listen. Oh, to Oh, what? What? That's, yeah, that's it was it was it was different. Um, so when you when you um. When, when he was down there and he gets ready to come home, you know, I know now this is where the celebration begins, but I know it's hard as y'all go through it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.